What's good, family? Welcome to a Minor Hoops podcast show with the freshest opinions and views in the world's most beautiful game. I'm your host, Greg, and I'm here with the homies, the entire squad. We back, yo. We got the, we got the top five. We got the five and the six, man. We lit. We lit. We live here. Uh, shout out to Manny, Leek, TK, B, Dunkman, Keith. Boys, how we feeling? Feeling good, man. It's All-Star Weekend, whatever that means. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be quiet. Let me get my bias. A, a, uh, spring break for the league. Facts. They need it though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. need that break for the postseason. I know. You, how do you feel about All Star Weekend? We're about the Why, you like, Why you do that? Why you do that? Just put you on the spot out the gate. How you doing, T? Out the gate, put you on the spot. Um. <laughs> I feel like All Star Weekend is garbage, to be wow. honest. We're gonna just jump into it. Yeah, we're gonna just jump into it and, and wow. talk about it. You know, hi, you guys on TK had a good week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but in, in reality, All Star Weekend is garbage, and we can get to that after you know the last you know salutations and introductions. How you doing, B? Yeah, B. How you doing? I, I'm good, man. High school playoffs around the corner. Like I said, season's coming to an end. It's been a great ride. Um, All Star Weekend wasn't good. It was it was it was all right. VA zone represented. We'll talk about that. Um, I'm excited to see all five plus the six man back. I'll say it all the time. I'll take this starting five over any content create group out there. Yeah, nah, I agree. RDC, we at your neck. Caution <laughs> that whatever y'all doing, we at your neck. Run y'all five. Check ball. <laughs> Uh, they do not want to check ball. With you. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I don't think none, none of them want to check ball. With you. Oh, That'll be the quickest. Oh no, none no, of them want to no, check ball. They do not want really to check ball. The, 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 the only person we got to worry about from um A, a and P is D- uh, Duke. That's it. That's nah, only one. he's athletic. Yeah, he's I've the only one. Him, yeah. Everybody yeah, else is him. self check. You heard it here first. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever content creation group. Run your five. Yeah, check ball. Five. I got half a knee, and I'm still giving them word. You you can definitely guard Phantom. All right, man. It doesn't matter who I can guard. Who can guard me? Say less. Say less. I love it. I love it. Timmy Buckets. All right. <laughs> Reaction to All-Star Weekend. We saw the Rising Stars game. We saw the Celebrity game. We saw the three-point contest, the Skills Challenge, if that's what they want to refer to it as, <laughs> um, and the Dunk Contest. <laughs> the lack of skills. Um, I told y'all last week I was not going to watch this for real. And I didn't. I held true to mine. I held true to it. Um, And from what I've heard, it was it was garbage. Which, which one? The skills? All of it. Uh, it's yeah. been pretty mid. I think Max saved it. He saved it. I think I think we're getting older too. We've seen it over and over again. That's and I've been saying this. They gotta reformat it. They gotta uh, add different yeah. events. They gotta reformat see, it a little bit. I said bit. it last week off air. Like, you're giving real boomer energy. Hey, no, 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 I'm here hey. with you. All right, what well, we got with you is Dango and Greg. <laughs> like, I said it to all y'all. Let's not act like I said it. It's not it. boomer it energy. Real boomer energy. If it's just bad, <laughs> Thank maybe you. it needs to but change. Y'all, but y'all maybe started. the format has changed. <laughs> Manny, you said yourself. Last year, the dunk contest was what? Last year, the dunk contest. The Rising Stars one was good. Rising Stars one was good this week. Look. That's good. Why you? Let's be honest, yo. I get to you. The slam dunk contest hasn't been good or competitive really since Zach Levine and Aaron Aaron Gordon. And mind you, that was a bright spark because it wasn't really competitive before that for a couple years. So if we're at this point now that you're saying one guy, only one guy, there's one man show, and that's acceptable to you. Then look how the standards have fallen so far. Yes, sir. We're not gonna sit here and say like, "Oh no, we're boomer energy because there's not any stars in a uh, dunk contest." So boomer energy because oh, we've seen that dunk before. It's whack. Like Jericho <laughs> Sims was whack. Yeah, like nice. it's I don't know what else you want me to like. Shout out Trey, but it still wasn't elevating. It wasn't competitive. We sat here and we was like, okay. The only other person that I would have been cool with seeing in another gaunt, uh, dunk contest in all time history doing last night was Mac. He was the only one that would have been like, I right, transfer him anywhere else. It would have still been competitive. That's a fact. Everybody else, I'm like, I've literally seen high school guys in gyms do something in socks more exciting than that. Well, I'm saying that's just off your background, though, too. I'm just saying for the consensus. I'm saying for what the no. All Star Weekend is supposed to be. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Do it right doing? now. <laughs> Mad PC, bro. <laughs> this isn't you, man. You lying to the people on, on camera, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, clone, it's clone. Bro. It's clone, clone Manny. It's clone Manny. <laughs> what is happening? He's not the same. We all watched that, bro. I mean, well, y'all I was did. evil twin Danny. Well, I said you right. This is a Manny. Be, this is Danny. You gotta be. I'm not, I'm, all I'm saying, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. Like I said, especially from last year. I think last year was so bad that this year I was just like, 
Huh, at least it wasn't as bad as before. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I Remember, think that's really where I'm at last, with it. Like, last year, Cole was uh, dancing in the Thames and missing. Oh, yeah. It was all like, bad. Bro, it was all bad. This, uh, the, in the Rising Stars joint, too, like, they were actually trying to play defense. They were trying to actually compete. Yeah. Because the setup was like, I don't know if you watched it, but it was like a pickup game. Okay. Like, first team to what, like 30 or something yeah. like that? Yeah. And then they the second the team points, to 30. Basically. But, and then those two, the winner of those two teams play with each other. So it was like a pickup okay. style. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, they did that last year. They did it last yeah. year. Yeah. But I'm saying this year, like, they're actually like low key competing. Like, they didn't yeah. really want to lose like that. Besides Kenny Lofton chucking up threes. Well, but that was a whole nother thing. What did you have to do? You had to add a G League team in there to actually throw some pride in for the Rising Stars and, and sophomores. You saw that. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, no, that's a gimmick to me. This is an NBA All Star Weekend. No mm. disrespect to any guy that is in the G League, but the G League is called the G League because it's a different league. That's a fact. It is an NBA All Star Weekend, so I want to see NBA players in all the events. I don't want it to see it subsidized. No school because big respect to school. I'll see you next year. Like it's not like we're never going to see these guys. Facts. Just let them be pros. Just let them be pros. Like for example, for example. If somebody like Scoot, you know, because all you got to do is be one year out of college. Like, so if somebody like Scoot, we're going to invite to Rising Stars and Sophomores Challenges. Why not invite the Rising Stars and Sophomores of, of college? Like, why, why not invite college kids at this point? He said like, put and, Bronny James in it at well, this point. And, <laughs> I, I know everybody's going to be like, oh, he's reaching. But at the end of the day, shout out to Mac. I understand that you just got a contract off of this. You're going to be in the NBA. I'm glad you got paid, Virginia guy. But that's not what people are going to be drawn to for all Star Weekend, you want to see keyword All Stars, and that's the thing you're seeing the lack of participation too. Like, think about even the dunk contest. It's the players' Why would you job it's a, there? Yeah. It's a huge fact. You it's know what huge. I'm saying? Like, so when you have that, you got to get creative. Like for the NBA, what are you gonna do when it's like my bounciest dudes only want to be in the dunk contest? Yeah. What do I do with that? Jalen Green and John don't want to be in it. What like what do I do with that? That's a tough one to sell, man. That is, I mean, yeah, I think that's just from the fact of we've seen the guys, their predecessors. I seen Bron not do it. I'm, and, no, and I'm, was, I'm going to say the name. I saw I Braun was, say no. I was telling Taman, I think if we look back on it, because like, not Tracy, Vince won it early 2000s. Jason Richardson won it. Dean won it. Like, I think the first like superstar that was really just started de denying it, Kobe won it. Yeah. Like, but you know what I'm saying? Kobe won it, so he didn't have to technically do it no more if yeah. he didn't want to. But like, Braun was the first one and he did it from his rookie year, like not doing it. Yeah, I'm never doing. And then he did the fake out one time. I was like, Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, do, I'm it, gonna next do it next year. year. Nah. nah. <laughs> and I think that kind of started a trend. It did. And I'm from that, on all from that moment, yeah. we started seeing the caliber of who was winning the dunk contest go down and down and down to the point where we have someone who literally was on a two way. Yep. You know what I'm saying? At Rocking the, the Gate City jersey. But I'm saying as a shout out to Gate City. Yeah. 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 And this is no in no way we're trying to disrespect anybody who's stepping up and taking those challenges. The 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 people we're angry with are the stars who are saying no, who are sitting out, who are saying I'm not participating in these art uh these festivities and things like that. Which really irritates me because A, these are some some of these have contractual like bonuses involved. And now you're you're getting your achievements. You're hitting these all-stars, you're hitting yeah. these accolades. The fans are showing you love. We all want you here. The very least is to be there, go out. I'm not saying no, we have to have an all-star game where everybody's playing their absolute hardest, but a dunk contest and you're one of the bounciest people in the league, you just don't like you. You're not gonna regret that in 15 years that you never I mean, did they're, that. They're not gonna. They're no, not going no, to no. It. I'm sitting they're on 200 not. m's. Why? Well, I'm, I'm not gonna. They're not gonna regret it. On top of that, like you understand, like the position everyone's into. Like John Morant, prime example. Since we already talked about him, right? Why am I gonna keep jumping? My knees already hurt. I need this week to rest. I got an All Star game I had to play today. Between C four to thirteen, we're only separated by like four or five games. We need all of these. So let's just never have stars in the All Star weekend. That's that. No, that's <laughs> by that logic. Yeah. They shouldn't play in an all star game. They shouldn't do skills challenge. Nah, they yeah. should just give be given a break, and then the, the accolade or achievement you can mail it to them. We can have so a little basically trophy the NFL ceremony. Pro Bowl. But yeah, let's yeah. treat it like a Pro Bowl. <laughs> Which honestly, I'll let's say treat it like I, a Pro Bowl. I wouldn't be mad at it because I do think it would boost. I'll say this: I do think it would boost the level of bump coming off of this. I, I wouldn't mind like okay, if we're really not going to do this, just you know what I'm saying. Now, a true of course, the league should, wouldn't. A no, can I can I can I provide yeah. another suggestion to this yeah. conundrum? <laughs> you can choose your all stars. I would say choose them actually at the end of the season. Mm. Don't have all star weekend. Have an all star week leading up to the season before things actually pop off, or right before they go to training camp. 
What do you mean? Mm. So like you can she's have the pre-season. event, have a preseason event building up to the NBA season. So almost make, like I said, make the All-Star game almost a Drew League-like experience where it's almost a pro-am. A, the season's about to start. Everybody's ready. Like, LeBron, KD, Kawhi. We all saw it. That's all Make right. it a showcase. That's like, yo, everybody show up for the se- might- before y'all go to training camp. One game. Let's hoop. Yeah. And then everybody go to training camp. Let's get the season started. Shoot, you can, yeah, nah. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, but the counter argument for that still equally as dangerous. Like, so now okay. my so now, now my I might miss the is, entire year if I get hurt. <laughs> right. But if we're playing it at all, at a casual pace, if we're playing it at all, pro- I'm, 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 I'm not saying they're going hard like a championship. I'm saying, but make it no, like yeah, a pro am. Like, like show up and hoop. Like, let them play. No, I mean, I think, I think, I think the thought process is the line of reasoning is there. I think the the same excuse you could use for midseason, you could use for the preseason, where guys are like. Oh no! Nah, I'm about to go crazy this season. Why would I? Why would I go do a dunk contest during the summer? When, I didn't say nothing about dunk. I just said why, the game. Why would I go do? <laughs> why would I go play? In, I've been uh, playing in pro ams leading all the way up to this. Or we did the Olympics. Why would I do that? So it's going to be the we same. We just came off the Olympics. We just came off FIBA. We just came same off the formula. Something. Like we, it's just a situation of guys are protecting their contracts. They're protecting their money. Yeah, right. And they, so. and they, they, so. they so let me just sit on ice, bro. And, and they're, they're not built the same. They're not built the same like these '80s dudes. Like they were really oh, doing. all I'm the boomer. No, I'm just I'm just being honest. They're, <laughs> these are just facts. They were playing all the games. They were participating well, all the events. They were doing everything. The reason, that's why tomorrow's also, so upset. They also did move on, on No, but it's the, yeah. the reason they were doing that, too, and I'm not saying the, the NBA guys today get babied or anything like that, but realistically, the market for you now, outside of the NBA, is so much more that like as soon as I sign a league contract, people know my name, I don't have to play another game. Like If you're doing it right, yeah. Yeah, I can get that. Somehow use that money to invest, make a brand, something like that. You yeah. have so much control of your individual brand nowadays. All you need is seed money. And that's what the NBA has become Ooh. for a lot of guys. Ooh. We have this conversation where, oh, are these guys like really in love with hoops or like dedicated to it or something like that? It is a really good, high paying, nice job for a six nine athletic guy. Like that's how some people treat it now. It's not like it is the best I'm, job in the world. But, <laughs> it's the best job but in the world. Just because you, because you're passionate about it. Some people just might be good at it. Right, right. right. And that's how it feels. It's the best job in the world. I knew someone's gonna do it. I knew. <laughs> it. I, knew I, I wasn't. It. I wasn't gonna I take that it. shot because I I can't question any kind of. I, I saw him be like all NBA before. Like Facts. He's I good. can't say that he, he, he was good. wasn't passionate. He was good at it. But there's if we can question a guy who's all NBA about whether he's passionate about basketball, oh, yeah. how about, many yeah. guys are on two ways or barely in the league or in bad men's or something like that who really don't even damn about the sport anymore and just here for a check. So if that's the case, the competitiveness have gone down in the league and we're going to treat it like that. It's going to ring throughout. So we're having conversations about all-star weekend whether it's going to be before or after or in the middle or something like that when in question the real issue is the disparity between uh how much what you do and put in the league affects your actual paycheck and brand outside of it because it doesn't as much anymore you can be a regular role player or not be like such a big talent or superstar and you be straight but You can now buck on those chances and opportunities for some spotlight of basketball because you're going to get in another area. You're talking about 80s, 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. We knew them as basketball players, yeah. not 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 social media fashion icons or not rappers on the side or not video game Twitch streamers or and nothing t- like that. TV not personality. CEOs. We knew them, st- not CEOs, and that's no disrespect to any of these other outside avenues. I'm so glad that NBA players have been able to do this. This is a black man branching out into other avenues. Nah, that, and I would love for them to control even more. But if yeah. we're talking about the brand and sport of the NBA and basketball, it, it, it hurts it because I don't have to dedicate myself as much to succeed financially uh, or in other uh, areas as I would have when it was based mainly off of my talents and what I bring to the court and all of these uh, uh, festivities, whether so, it's Olympics, FIBA, All-Star Weekends, anything. So essentially what you're saying is my bag's too deep now. I don't need to play All-Star game. Yeah, I'm sitting on much. 200 M's, bro. <laughs> I'm like, honestly. <laughs> no, really. really. really that's what it's, it's, now it's become a liability. It feels, we just talked about injuries. We just talked about blah, 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 blah. That's all liability yeah. talk. Yeah, it is. That's saying that what you're preparing to give me is not worth the risk. Yep. Yep. 
So if if we have a a, a game it's like a, tonight that's gonna happen, the All Star game where we have a Luca out, a KD out, a, a couple of other people out, and Curry out, a Curry out, and then the people who are playing, half of them if they could have opted out to go vacation early, yeah, for sure. So yeah, it's it's and that's not a bad thing. It's just something I've observed. No, I can't argue with it. I mean, it's the reason they'll never have a one-on-one competition at NBA All-Star. No, never. Like, never, guys never. are going to protect their brand at all costs. Like, you're not trying to get That's cooked. too much exposure. Bro. It's too much. Like, <laughs> one-on-one, like, guys do not want to be on that island with the entire world watching. How somebody bragging over you yeah. all the and, like, time over no, there? you got cooked. Like, and you know it's 2023, so they'll mic you up love. Exactly. Yeah, they, will <laughs> up. they will mic you up. So, now, and they have Drewski color commentating the whole thing. <laughs> like... I nah. guess nobody would want to watch it, but what if they did like top names from the G League? No, no, it's what? not all star. Like he said, like all star game. Not all-star. Or no, not an all star game, but just ones. Oh, yeah. don't what? care. They no, probably they, would. People do. care about the names. That's the Thursday bro. game. Yeah, that's the, like that's the Thursday tuning into yeah. the all star. It's, it's all about the names. Yeah. One on one. It's all about the names. Yeah. I don't it. care how the the general public is not going to care about how good the one on one game is if they don't know the people. And you might know them, big basketball mind. That that you see, like sit here. And understand what kind of conversations we're having, and then what the general public would exactly. deem as general knowledge. They wouldn't know the names that you know, so you would be excited to see ones in any kind of basketball mm. because there's like a thousand percent chance you're gonna know at least one of the people playing ones, even <laughs> if they came from like ten buck too. <laughs> Other people, they're just not gonna know the people, so they're not gonna be interested or 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 or, or dedicated to even. Or committed to even like paying attention to watching the game. And they wouldn't even consider it an all-star at some point. It's not. No, they would. An all-star is a name you know. It's a how it's is you know, you get closer to those household names. Yep. So, all that being said, the all-star game is tonight. Yeah. We hope it goes well. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it'll be entertaining. <laughs> we hope it goes well, hope it's entertaining. I don't know about these boomers, but I will watch. <laughs> <laughs> but let's move on. Let's move on because all-Star Weekend is almost over, which gives us another opportunity to make one of our favorite lists, our top 10 players this season so far. Me and Taman started this off when Brian was out. I think Brian had a tournament. Um, so we did that, and we enjoyed it. So we bring it to the whole group for the first time. Top 10 players this season so far coming out of the All-Star Weekend, and who would like to start? All right, can we all agree there's five names that I don't think are debatable? Jokic, Giannis, um, MB, Luca, Tatum. Yeah, that was the five. Like, all yeah. five of those Not, are, are they're there. They're in there. Wait like, I'm just saying. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, not for sure. I'm, for not sure. yeah. Yeah. But I'm just saying those five are for sure. And I don't even love group. Tatum, but his consistency, you can't. Yeah, Man's yeah, averaging 31, 85. Yeah, every time, every time. Like, all right. Number all one right. team in the league. I guess I'll start then. I'll, okay. I'll start. Go ahead. Since mine's right in front of me. At number 10. Oh, we got to go in order? I'm going in order. I don't have an order. I'm going in order. I just be naming people. I'm going in order. This is, y'all can, I guess we can hate on my list. All right. (laughs) Braun, number nine. Oh, that's 10. Okay, I was about to, whoa. I was, Ja. Whoa. (laughs) Number eight, Donovan Mitchell. Number seven. Okay, okay, okay. Shea. Number six, Embiid. Number Mm. five, Tatum. Number four, Durant. Number three, Giannis, two, Luca, one, Jokic. Oh, they coming for your neck. You got the two white boys at one and two. Wow. <laughs> no, it's coming it's been the Twitter, that's, it's that's been the the Twitter conversation. I was being funny. Oh, I've been on Twitter Don, in a little minute, Donovan, man. Donovan, okay, okay, okay. All right. I would, I would replace How Donovan. we feel? I would replace Donovan with Shea. Other than that, like, you're like, yeah, Shea. Shea. I got Shea at seven. I got Shea at seven. I got D Mitch at eight. I got Ja at nine, Braun at 10. We low key got the same list. I guess I'll do mine. So I'm going to go reverse order. I'll go one to 10. One, I got Jokic. Two, MB. Three, Giannis. Four, Tatum. Five, Luka. Six, Shea. Seven, Dane. Eight, Donovan. Nine, KD. Ten, Steph. Mm. Mm. And I'm prepared to bump KD down on the list just off the fact that Malik made a great point because, you know, I'll be just bashing um, Kawhi on just how he doesn't play games. KD's actually missed more games than Kawhi. I mean, but since he's been there. Since he's yeah. been in the next year, he since hasn't played 50% of the games. He's missed a healthy amount of games this year as well. Absolutely. Well, one was off of All right. I mean, well, so in yeah. theory, he's missing okay. a whole year. 
like I, I mean, yeah, Kelly's. like I would say the difference between KD and Kawhi is when KD's been on the court, he's been thirty. Nah, he's been, yeah, yeah, he's been most consistent scoring in the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like but phenomenal. Kawhi hasn't been like too far behind that, but it's like Kawhi's. He just started, he, and this is the only time. Up. Yeah, not nah, this. I guess January to February, but outside of those one to two months, like when he was first starting this year, he's been a twenty-five plus dude. Like every time he's putting on a Clipper jersey, fair for the most part. I realized I made an omission. Oh, got Steph. Um, but and when you put in Donovan, I was like, okay, there's gonna be somebody. I forgot Steph. Out of I here. forgot Steph, which means, but. I can, but I, have I can understand as the, the biggest the Steph injuries. dude on the pod. Off I can understand injuries, why. Yeah. The, I can understand why the yeah. injuries has played a part. But at the same time, it is very evident when he is when present. he's there, they're winning. When, when he's, he's there, they're like more than when that, he's not the there. And that's the point. Efficiency for that team is just goes through the roof. So I mean, he's averaging he's averaging twenty nine six and six. So <laughs> you have been ridiculous this year. So yeah. went on the court. Um, shoot, let me just go ahead and just knock my list out. Um, I got Luca. Like I said, no particular order. I got Luca, Joel, Giannis, Damian Lillard, Shea. He said Dame? Yes. Yeah. I said Dame too. Damian Lillard. Yeah, he said Dame too. I did. Okay. Because he'll drop 60 and no one Dame's cares. Who, like, Dame's gone crazy <laughs> no one cares. last like, I don't know why. two months. Two months. Like, they're in the playoff. Yeah, he's going crazy. Grit. Okay. So, all right, so who else? Yeah, Shea. You the Dame, I bet. Yeah, Shea. Jason Tatum. <coughs> LeBron James. John Morant. And... I guess I got to give it to Donovan. I guess I got to give it to Donovan. And then my last, yeah, Jokic. Donovan Jokic, that makes 10. Okay. But none of that was in any particular order. But yeah, I got to throw Dame in there because okay. he's too slept on. I understand. Oh, yeah, mine, mine is pretty much very similar. No order. Wow. Um, but Luka, Embiid, Jokic, Giannis, Tatum, Braun, Dame, Shea, Katie, and Ja. Okay. TK? I went back and forth for who I was going to leave off. Um, mine's in order is 10, Braun, uh, 9, Ja, 8, Shea, 7, Dame, 6, KD, 5, Tatum, 4, Embiid, 3, Giannis, 2, Luka, 1, Jokic. Okay. And that's the right list. Of course, he's in that. Of course, it is. Yeah. All right, so let's talk. Let's let's get to the top three, top four. We got. Can we agree on the top three, top four? Jokic, Giannis, Lukic, uh, Lu- Luka. Uh, Luka, excuse me, Luka. Luka. That'll be the that greatest player like, ever. That's a scary wow, dude. That's, that's a scary man. Scary. Oh man, that boy Lukic. He's combining yeah, oh. both the Europeans. Oh jeez. And who's your who's who's that who's that fourth sitting in there? Embiid. Embiid. He said Giannis. I said Giannis. I said Giannis. Yeah. Yes, Jokic, bro, it's just all the foreigners, bro. That's it. All the foreigners. It's all the foreigners. That's it. We we good to agree on that. We had this conversation before. It's, it's all, all the foreigners, foreigners bro. And like Katie's not on my list right now, just off injury. And who's? How big is the gap for y'all? Because this has been a, this has been the debate. This has been the debate I've been seeing on Twitter. The debate is, Embiid's better than Jokic. What? That's what I've been hearing. That, that's been the debate. That's been the that's debate. Been, Yo, I've so, really been all so through it. So let me debate. I thought I heard. Let, you let me really, album. let me give, really give specify content, that because it give all content. comes back to the MVP conversation between the four. Because at this point, I think we always say it's a four person it's a four race. Marys. Jokic is in the lead. Really with B, Giannis, Tatum. It's a four ish person race, right? And the debate has been with Jokic is he is not deserving of being a three time MVP no. simply because he hasn't separated far enough from the rest of the group and because he has not won a championship. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, pause, pause, pause. I disagree MVP with that MVP is a regular season award. Yeah, that is the chips, dumbest chips thing you can ever say is that he can't get a regular season award because something that's given in the postseason. So, no, but I'm saying, why do we give the award out in the postseason then? Why don't we just give it as soon as the regular season's over? Then why, why do, do they that? claim that it's a regular season award? Just tell, just give it away at the you end. Know, just make I mean, finals the, MVP and the MVP the, the same thing. The vote is taken at the end of the year. They just give the they award They just give the, the award out in the playoffs. But we all know it feels like they wait until the playoffs Playoffs, just see how stuff shakes out before they hand it out. But the votes taken before the playoffs start. (laughs) Yeah, but they take the votes, but it almost seems like we wait for the first round of playoff to see who flops and who doesn't. I mean, that's just gonna be the way it pans out. And generally, like the 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 MVPs are gonna play well in the first round, so it doesn't matter too much. But nah, that's championships don't matter in an MVP race, like at all. 
winning in a regular season matters because it's a regular season award, but championships don't matter. I'll Embiid say, has hasn't gotten. I think it just anything, and I haven't. If that's the case, why would you even throw that in an argument? The MVP is a little bit more spread out just because it's the point. I don't think Jokic just create that much separation from everybody else I to agree look with back that. in this era and be like he's a three time MVP. What? So, but, but you're still in first, the, I don't think he's created that much separation by, from everybody. But else, if I'm first so by a point, back, if yo, I'm first by a hundred points, I'm still first. If I'm first, I'm first, regardless of the separation. And that, that's Three fact. Times? But to the point, right? And this is where I got into with a bunch of people on Twitter the last couple of days. This idea of Jokic not being able to be a three-time MVP, one, because he's not a champion, is kind of ridiculous in the sense of he wasn't supposed to win a championship the last two years. Like, you didn't have yeah, Jamal Murray. Team. You didn't have Michael Porter Jr. So right off rip, and we all know the MVP is very much a narrative race. So the narrative was already on his side. He was carrying a bummy team to playoff contention almost single-handedly. Like, and won a playoff series while doing that. Let's not, like, sugarcoat that. Like, he won a playoff series essentially by himself. So why does Steve Nash have two? Huh? Steve Nash got two. They are fluke, too. I wouldn't call well, those fluke. Well, not two. I like, say Steve Nash is fluke. Yo, I won't call real. those fluke. Like, Steve Nash is granted. We can sit here and say, yeah, he's overrated. And even I would say that. But if you really look at what he did those two years, first year he went to a Phoenix team that won 20-something games. They won 60. Yeah. The next year, Amari Stoudemire didn't yeah, play, yeah. and they won almost the same exact amount. Like, you, we can sit there and say, yeah, Kobe Bryant was a better player than you this year. But, I thought that was the MVP. I thought uh, that's what that no, was. No, it is, but at the same time, it's also most valuable, and it's a narrative, and you have to win to some extent. Kobe wasn't winning those years. Like, and, he just wasn't. And that's my thing with Jokic. He doesn't give me that narrative to be like, yo, when I look back at this. The narrative is you I won when you had nothing. Right, pause, pause, pause. What does Jokic have to do this year to win MVP? What more does he have to do? Like, tell me right now, what more does he have to do? That's a good question. Nearly <laughs> averaging a triple double. No, he is he, averaging a triple double. Averaging a triple double. <laughs> leading the league in assists still? Yeah. No, he, no he's not nah, leading he's the league. Not anymore? Okay. okay. Still, nah, he never was. Still was up there, though. Ridiculous efficiency. I'm about to say, top of the league all the time. Like, all he did was get better. I and mean, and his team is number one. And he's West. first in the, Like, if this isn't MVP, if you're saying Jokic hasn't done enough, nobody in the league has done enough this year to deserve MVP. And that's my point. If you're saying Jokic didn't separate himself far enough, it's cool. He's still number one. And and the problem with this argument is people keep going back to the past and saying, well, so-and-so should have won three. So-and-so should have won three. I went back and looked at all these names people have thrown out. You can go back to Giannis when he won his two back-to-back. Hey, his Brian third year. and D. Rose, that was the that was the, big, yeah, that's that's the, the one, most controversial one. That's the only one, one I can really yeah. sit here and that's say. That's the most controversial one, by far. And I was still happy D. Rose got that. Fact. <laughs> like, you can go back to Giannis and his two. The third year of Giannis' MVP run, or after his back-to-back -back MVPs, his numbers across the board went down. The Bucks went from the one to the three seed. Like it now, granted, they won the chip that year, so it kind of all played out in the end. And they but picked it, up Drew Holiday. Like huh? you should just And they picked down. up Drew Holiday. And they gave him defensive player of the year that year anyway, didn't they? Uh, or that the year no, that was the year before. The year before? before. Yeah. Uh, oh, he won them both in the same year. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. So it made sense for Giannis not to win MVP that year. A, a, across the board, your team is a little bit worse. Your numbers are a little bit worse. You didn't ep continue to elevate. So yeah. makes some sense. Where I, where I think it really, where we're at this point of him getting three in a row, I told Taman, I think it's more so last year. I think it could have went to Embiid. So that way, if this year you want to still give it back to Jokic, that's two out of three years. Facts. I think it's more so the narrative of, wow, like, Jokic was really the best dude in the league three years Y'all should have gave it to Embiid last year. When I said Embiid, I said I would have gave it to Embiid, but I said Jokic deserved MVP last year as well. So my biggest thing is we can say narrative, we can say stats, we can say winning, we can say whatever. Whatever category you want to say, tell me why Jokic isn't leading. Like, tell me why he's not the MVP this right year, now, right now. Right now, right right now yeah. so, but Joel then did, what's the argument Joel about? did give him the business, though, when they played, when Denver what? went to Philly. Joel did win that matchup like hands down. You know what's crazy about that though? Cause Leek, you're an X's and O's guy. Yeah. Who was guarding Jokic during that stretch? Um It was PJ. Yeah. 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 Like, I that game. And that's what I'm saying. Like and B was going off. And B was going off. Jokic was yo, like, cause we love to do this with players, right? We love to do this thing of well, like I said, we did it with Steph for years. We've done it with a number of guys for years. Where it's like, well, he didn't guard the matchup, and this is why he isn't da 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 da. Well, okay, Jokic was working and beating the first half. Doc actually made an adjustment in the second half, switched and put PJ on him, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then it was, well, Embiid has a little bit more energy. He's able to go at Jokic's neck yeah, in the second I mean, half. 47 like, is 47. Oh, no, like, don't get, yeah. but my point is simply, like, we're, we bash Jokic for guarding Embiid and getting cooked, 
But when Embiid had to guard Jokic, it flipped, and now it's like, oh, Embiid so much better. Well, he couldn't guard Jokic either. Jokic was working him in the first. They can't guard each other, honestly. They can't. But <laughs> Embiid had somebody else do the job for him, and Jokic continued to battle, and he lost. Cool. It is what it is. But. That whole thing, like a one game matchup being the whole in- oh, like, it that's be not the end it. Like, I'm sorry. It won't be the end Especially when we have to throw yeah. the X's like and O's said, into it. It's just the issue for me. Like I said, is anyone playing better than him? Like, for their respective team right now? I can't really say that. But at the same time, like you said, like, that's how close it is. But when yeah. you look back in history, you're going to be like, he was wiping these dudes. He was the <laughs> face. He wanted three times. Well, I think that's I don't just think that's like what, revisionist I think that's history. That's what it's going to seem like. I got to look back on it. That's just, that's when people like you, me, Lee, don't gotta care. Like, we gotta be, but no, we gotta no, say, hey, you know, we were there. But you know what this all boils down to? We sound like the old dudes in the barbershop. They don't care. But, but, that's but, why they're important. But you know that's what all part the, of the culture. But all this boils down to if Jokic wins a chip or not. If he wins chips, none no of this is relevant anymore. No like it, yeah. the no conversation is, is over. Chip, yeah, it's fluke now. Now and it's, it's going to look crazy because it's Steve like, Nash all over there again. There was Jason Tatum's yeah. playing. There was John Morant's playing. There was Luka yeah. Doncic. There's Giannis. Playing. Give him four MVPs. But the, but the chubby white boy got three four. That's what it's going to be. That's and that's why I'm like he didn't create enough separation. But in in for this me. breath right now, while we're watching in the present time, does he deserve this? Yeah. Then that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and are you sure the Nuggets are not going to win a championship in the next five years? Like, are you absolutely sure of that? Oh, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm like, not they're going to win. Like, I think they're a contender for the that's next four or five years. That team look bummy and fluke to us now because they never accomplished anything. And they got close. They got, they got, they got, got close, very close a couple close. times. Kobe took their heart out. Yeah. <laughs> shout out, hey, shout out Ron out to us. Yeah. Man, I watched that. I started screaming yeah. at the TV, but we ain't talking about them right now. But did, they, I, did, I, the, did that Phoenix team go to a conference final? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Twice. Well, they, yeah. I thought, it was I thought they went one. twice. They went once. One time they lost in the second round, I believe. I thought I they, they made twice. it to a conference final. They definitely made it to a conference final. Because yeah. yeah. that was yeah. the year um, they all got suspended against the Spurs, and they always and cried I think about that. that may have been in the... One of them years they lost in the second round, I do remember, but I think they only went to one conference final. Huh? In that yeah, they went, they went to back-to-back conference finals. They did in the first two yep. years? Mm, yep, first two years. Oh, it's not. <laughs> so I I think the conversation... Got there three times, actually. I think the conversation around the top three, four... It's going to be a conversation we're going to be having for quite some time, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, About next 10 years. Jokic, Doncic, Giannis is going to be that conversation. I think guys that can sneak into that conversation. Y'all can sneak in there. I think he can. I think he can. I think he... He has the narrative people want to see. He has the, I don't, he has think, I don't think he's as bro. good as those guys, though. I'll be quite honest. He has the team and the makeup to do it, is. though. And I'm, I'm really a huge John Moran fan in terms of his game, but I, if we're talking about those guys we just mentioned, just had this conversation oh, about... Oh, like one-on-one matchup, like battle, like on some GD I just think, stuff? No, but I'm saying he has the team and the makeup to do it. They play fast, they cause turnovers, and they hit threes. To accomplish wins, yes. If you're talking about like yeah, that's that's how much MVP, yeah. uh, MVP conversation, I, I, I yeah. think an MVP conversation can it, be had with him. Yeah, like, well, can John get an MVP in like the can, next couple of years? Yeah, yeah. Can, can John, yeah. yeah. It's, it's hard for John to have that conversation when his team keeps winning without him. Yeah, <laughs> that, is <fair. laughs> that is really fair. It, it kind of removes the value. <laughs> yeah, from, from but him. it was like that one year paid man, and it's the whole season, so they tried to give him MVP. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I think yeah, I think John can sneak in those conversations. Tatum will be in those conversations. Yeah. It's just a matter of th- we're gonna be pulling at like straws. Yeah. At like the finest of hairs to trying to find the difference between the Jokic, the Donchises, and, and Giannis. And Zion can wake up at any moment in time and just be like, I'm here, y'all. I'm not wing talking chat. about Zion. I'm not talking about not him. doing it. No. I l- I've realized I love Zion as a player. <laughs> we all do. I just need that man to stay on the court. I, I said it two years ago. I'm not talking about Zion until he plays 50 games. Fair. You did say it two years ago in the pod. Yeah. Fair. I mean, I thought this was going to be the year. I, I thought so too. Yeah. I mean, it they, looked like it was. They got to that. You know, I was on the Pelicans. They got to that for like two weeks. in the West, and I was like, wait wow. a minute. B.I.'s not playing right they now. They touched, I think, first for like a week. He'll yeah. Be, he'll, yes. I think he'll be back by the playoffs. I think they're like, are they going to make it? They'll make the play. Yeah, they are you sure? And they're yeah, dropping they fast. Fast. Uh-huh. fast. They are dropping and dropping. I think like oh, two yeah. and twelve, like the last fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like they are dropping fast. They're gonna, they're gonna make the playoffs. Luckily, Ingram's come back and yeah, been crazy yeah. for the last couple weeks. So time will tell on that. But because right now that that seven to ten right now, OKC is gonna fall out. And then, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah. okay, so I've been watching them play. You can't bank on that. Like they we, play, we, they, teams they, play hard. Ball, bro. they play hard. They play hard. They play hard. Like, are we expecting the Lakers to like? The Lakers have to play a We're little bit to, better. I, I don't know if y'all have noticed in terms of when you watch, like the, excuse me, specifically the NBA. Yeah. Like, 
that first like part of the year, they're playing with a certain level of intensity. Mm-hmm. You see a little shift post All Star break. Yeah. Then it's like a different type of ball in like that first round of the playoffs. I agree. Second round. Then like conference finals and finals just like it's a whole really different game. It's like, oh, they're hooping. So like mm-hmm. the, the oven's about to turn a little bit hotter. Right? I, I think you know but here's the, the thing. Format, here, it and this is hard, bro. We kind of alluded to this last week where we talked about the fact that midseason was like 15 games ago. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah, facts, people facts. already we're two, thirds, we're two thirds through the year. Yeah. And so people already started to hit that shift. And the beautiful part about it was Shay Giddy and it's the so J bad. Wills. <laughs> the J Wills. The, the J Wills. Started hitting yeah, hit that Jay shift Wills. too. Like, <laughs> Jalen like, Williams and Jalen Williams. Like, they started hitting that shift too. I was like, wait a minute. We actually hooping. We actually out here on primetime with LA and we giving them work. Now, granted, that, was, that, that was, team is way different now. Way though. different now. Way but different. I love it. We, they yeah. played on primetime and showed up. Way different like, team, bro. Like, I think True. It, when I'm looking at. We got Golden State. We, I'm curious about Golden State. I'm very curious because Curry. Steve, when's he coming back? St- Steve Kerr is under some pressure, bro. I don't care what He'll nobody says. Curious about Golden State. He's under some pressure. I do not trust Minnesota. No. I'm, I think I am Conley's very, gonna be very good for them, bro. I am very Anthony Edwards has been discouraged about like the last of the Pelicans, depending on when uh, Zion, Zion comes back. back. Yeah, like we don't we because he just he had a um, yeah he got a, he setback. a setback. They literally just said he had a setback, so, right. and so that's probably another three four weeks <laughs> past. So OKC will be a play in team. They're going to be a play in team. Oh, like it's good. So here's man. the thing, right? I respect it. I respect oh, it. Hey, Greg, you playing? I, 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 I want Shane. You know what I want? You know what I really want? I love your confidence. I want Lakers OKC. See in the playing, I would love. That. I want to rematch. We, we will smack y'all now. Um, yeah, I got Shea going. I'm sorry, I got Shea going. going. Work. That's great. Ben, Vanderbilt's out there now. He ain't doing that anyway. <laughs> it's actually a better matchup now compared to when Braun absolutely broke his yeah, record. Yeah, it's, it's actually yeah. a way better matchup yeah, now because yeah, yeah. D'Angelo Russell can actually cancel but, that out. So, the but question, look at what we're talking about. A LeBron team wasn't a good enough matchup for us. Shea Gilgis out to the team doing his 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 point championship night or whatever. Come on, bro. Like, like it's a bums. Like, that's why I can sit here and say, play in, not a six seed, play in. And yeah. if that, it's probably going to be nine to ten. So, go ahead. What are you about to say? No, something? I was just saying, so, like, this race for the, like, nine and ten spots coming down to, what, like, four teams is going to be OKC, Utah, Portland, L.A. Yep. Like, yep. of those four teams, which one do you really have the most faith in? L.A. It I'm, should be LA. Should LeBron, be. I'm going AD. to say OKC. You say OKC because you're an I, I, OKC I'm, fan. I'm gonna say Portland. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna say, bro. You be I'm gonna say Portland. I'm gonna say Portland. I'm gonna say Portland, bro. Call me a hater. Call me a hater. Call me a hater. I was on Portland at the beginning of the season, so I'm right there with you. Yeah, you just invested. Yeah, just invested in that. Like, I would love LA and Portland as the nine and ten. Like, that'd be great for me. Literally, ten seed or die trying. No, honestly, no, Dame over the last twenty games is at thirty six, bro. Bro, like he crazy. doesn't that's care. That's why I put him on my list. I that's why like, I had to put him on there. Like it's crazy right now. I can't like, disrespect and, him like that. Who drop is like fifty? And you like yo, get the cameras out my face. Like yeah. I love the addition of a T style for them. Like that's they need bro, another. And they got defender. Cam Reddish. Yeah, and, and, and they picked Marcy, up. Cam, they picked up your boy Cam. If like, they play him, I just need him to play. He, him. He's starting. He's, he started the last two games. Start last two. How they were able to what? rebuild yeah. a team without trading Dame to, for the future. Yeah. So now you have all these like, young wings They still wings got shade. Like, I was about to say they have a. They did exactly Anthony what they wanted. Still what twenty four? Yeah, yeah. They did exactly what they wanted. They wanted a bunch of big wings around Dame and yeah. Simons. Yeah. And now they just it's it's Toronto like very much Grant so. still with there, Dame. Like, with the Dame, though. And Simons. They're still got Simons, too. Still got them. The team that Portland is trying to be, they're trying to be a lesser version of when Dallas had Dirk, and they they kept, after they lost that finals, they kept <laughs> just making saying. they kept making just small changes. They're like, all right, we're not going to give up you on our crack superstar. The code. We're like, yo, we're just going to keep changing dudes every year, and then maybe at Even some point show. when like every other team is lacking, our superstar will have enough in the tank. That's essentially what happened in 2011. And 11, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one year where, like, yo, there was turmoil on it. Oh, yeah, Kobe, Kobe, Kobe's knee's like, gone. Kobe's boom. gone. Like, they were oh, man, it's the, to... it's the baby, baby thunder. Yeah. Let's get them out of the way. Oh, we don't have to out. play the Spurs. We don't Thank have you. to bet. Yeah. <laughs> the only issue I have with that, the only issue I have with that is that the landscape of the league looks a different, lot different. different than oh, what the landscape of this league is. Absolutely. Like, too deep for that. Denver, oh, Denver. I don't think anybody's saying Portland's about to make that run. No, they're not oh, going to no. win a Portland's chip. They're run. always going to fight their way into the playoffs. Are they going to lose in the first round? Yeah. Maybe. Possibly. Most Probably. Likely. Most they likely. Fight Possibly. Way into that Most first likely. Round? Like, <laughs> all I'm saying is when I'm looking at the seven and the eight, we talk about the nine and ten spot. The seven and eight spot, I think both of those have got, both those teams could fall out of the whole thing. 
Who? I don't like New Orleans Kansas. and Minnesota. New Orleans I have and Minnesota. No faith in Minnesota. New, New Orleans and Minnesota could fall all the way. Out. I have no faith in Minnesota. Utah, I don't trust Utah. Utah's to hold Utah's up not going to make it. I don't trust I Utah. I think they're, to hold they're about to throw in the top. They're about to, yeah, yeah. And then, so it's going to be Portland, LA, Golden State, OKC. That that's I'm shaky on Golden State. Just really depends on Curry. Coming that's back. my guess. I would. He's supposed to be back the first game after All Star break. That's my Curry. Guess. Cool. Yeah. And they were they, Minnesota. They, they Utah, dropped because Wiggs was out a few games too. Yeah. And I think he's like just resting. He's about to be like, all right, I have to be like that second best player on the Warriors. Like I was. It would be finals. nice if Klay Thompson realized that. But anyway, I don't know, man. This this is all, <laughs> and this is why I said I'll take Portland or I'll bank on like I I just don't have that much faith in L A. This is all with the contingency that. Anthony Davis says perfectly healthy and can play all of these yeah. games. Um, and that's a big if. Uh, they they get their stuff together and be able to actually go, what, what was it, 16 and 8 or something yeah, like that? Yeah, 24. And when you have all of those odds against you, I'm like, cool. I'm just not betting on that. But of the course, thing is, that's well, fair. But, but, I, fair. Like, but, I, but we, I, we talked about this a little bit. I didn't think we hit this really hard. But L.A., it's easier to play basketball for LeBron and AD in this situation than it was before the trade. Like, and that's just a fact. Yeah. AD can do certain things on the court and not feel like he's being completely taxed on defense right. and saving possessions for them. Fact. Because yeah. you got Mo Bamba and Jerry Vanderbilt, all these guys that Even help. Even Rui, too. Rui. Like, you yeah, still all have these to guys. figure out how to play together. Like, it's I not like that, a plug and thing. It's like, not a plug and play. Like, but we're talking they all, about but people fighting it's, for it's, the last The game is simpler. You, you know how you, you play pickup with certain guys, right? Just yeah, but also, I don't do it for like the last tournament of my life to like get into it's, a playoff. But it's the strength. After I was just hooping with like an entirely different set when I'm 38. Just just <laughs> follow. Right? No, I got you. I got so, you. I got you. So you we so you go out and play pickup, right? Yeah. Play pickup. You you go to a mob. He's like, all right, I'm running with these guys, but the mob just don't fit you. You got two guards. Y'all both the same. A big that doesn't want to set screens. Whatever. Facts. It's just the worst. It's hell. Yeah. It's hell. Now you didn't play with those that other three those three guys that just walked on, but yeah. they just more compatible for more me. More compatible. Y'all end up running full five off because off the strength of y'all have an understanding about how you guys like to play the game and it yeah. fits. That's all it takes. That's all LA. This league, league, that's all LA did, and he started to show it. Sense. Pretty early, like that, that last game was beautiful to watch. I don't know how many. D'Lo came on. Game. It was like, bro, oh yeah, against New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, yeah that New Orleans game was beautiful to watch. And this looks why, all right. That's why I think that you too, team. You too hard on your team. Too. No, I'm yeah. not. Yeah. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. You I, just said I, the I Pelicans were going to do what? Free fall out of this competition. They're, they're not. And now we're sitting here doing what? Praising an LA team that is so supposed I'm, to be so much better not, than that team. I'm not praising it. 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 I'm not better competition and to get up to the point where you're in a play-in you're gonna have to play against some of those better competition now can they be consistent enough to actually show up on a court and get 16 wins no i do not think so i will be pleasantly surprised if they do i respect it but if y'all got them climb from 13 to 10 because y'all have two people falling out free falling out the gap uh, is not that far though too that's only two games only two games and that's my whole point is that that some people can just turn on and off and i'm like if I don't believe in LA to be that much better of a team than any but of you, these guys you, right now. You don't think they know this? Like, bro, they're in playoff mode right now. Yeah. Even though they pick these new dudes up, it's not they, like they're putting the year. They, like, yo, they better be. We're on go right well, now. We've been be. in playoff mode even before this. That's nah, what I'm saying. We might have. Really. I'm saying they, it was. It was I, I, I promise you that we locker room had gave up. Fighting for our lives. That locker room. What are we talking about? That locker room had gave up, bro. That locker room was done. But our situation was still the same. But the locker room. And I'm saying we dug ourselves into a hole that I don't think we're gonna be able to get our out of but it's a whole different locker room it's, it's the same hole that's what i'm saying the whole but once again it's all once again it's all about perspective right before this trade before the trade deadline everybody looked around that locker room and was like yo there's no, no way shot. we can pull this yeah, off no way. like no the way. team doesn't fit does the We're team go for well. it if they try for it yes do i have them getting it no that's what i've been saying this and, entire time and all i'm saying is for ste- perspective has shifted after the deadline now guys walk into the locker room and they're just like hey man we can do the impossible. We can try. Man, I don't know. Like, I saw, man, can they actually do it? Oh, you gotta. We T, don't know. See, all they have to literally do for the rest of the year is just win two out of three games, bro. Their schedule coming out the break. We actually have the they, six easiest. They schedule. play. They play the Warriors. No stuff. Can y'all beat them? Warriors, no stuff. 
Y'all just beat them a few a few weeks ago. We'll see. Trade. Y'all, so yes, you're up in the air about that. <laughs> Here's the next joint that's up in the air though. Dallas. Yikes. That's up in the air. Memphis. That's up in the air. OKC. That's. No, we we should theoretically nah, check that one that back up. But that's closer than what y'all think. No, Minnesota, it's closer than what y'all then, think. Then, then I'm saying like then Minnesota. We should get Minnesota out the so way. So we're like two and three. All right. Golden State again. I'm up in the air. <laughs> Steph should be back. That's what I'm saying. Like, And then I guess here's the next question. And if we can't, not saying we as in like I'm actually. Like yeah, the, but if, the Lakers mentality. If, if I'm a Laker fan. And I'm saying with these pieces, D'Angelo is an all-star. Yes. Malik Beasley, solid. You know, Sniper. Like, role player guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Great Jared ball. Vanderbilt, mobile. Great for, for pickup. AD never wanting to guard five. So those are two great pieces to have. Yep. Right? Yep. Facts. Rui Hachimura, y'all got him because y'all can't get Kuz. So let's get Diet Kuz. You feel me? Hey, Rui. Like, <laughs> Rui. <laughs> no, Rui. Actually, yeah. like, I'm I'm like, I like that. his game. You know what I'm saying? For, for what they need to be. I'm about to say something reckless. If y'all can't <laughs> make the playoffs with that and supposedly two top 10 guys in the league, then what are the Los Angeles? What I'm saying in? is, can we dig ourselves out of the hole that games? we were already in? Two, two games, bro. I like, think it's more than two games. I think it's guys no, are getting adjusted to culture, getting adjusted to place. Like, it ain't I no think culture, it's bro. We got two. And that's my whole guys. point. We we literally we ripped the Lakers the entire year, saying this is horrible. Top to bottom it franchise. Westbrook, it was a Westbrook We make team. one trade and all y'all yeah, sound like Braun fans. Like, we believe. Your face. Like, I'm I don't believe two games. that we can go 16 and 8. Bro, no, no, I don't listen. believe in a 66% win potential for the rest of the year for the Lakers. I think I'm it's... sorry that I'm living in reality. <laughs> I'm sorry that we can go 15 and 9 seems more realistic than 16 and 8. I don't Tomorrow, know why everybody's let, looking let, at me let, like let, that's let, a crazy let, statement. Can I ask you a question? Seriously. 2012, 2013, Kobe Bryant's last year. Yeah. What was the Lakers' win percentage after the All Star break? Man, okay, if Bean, I mean, if Brian was Bean, this is a different conversation. Hey. And then what did Bean do that year to get us to the AFC? My point exactly. What did he do to the AFC? My point exactly. But he had to literally give his body to Jesus to get us to the AFC. But answer the question. We're sitting here talking about, oh, no, they can't. Answer this question. Brian Brian Kendall Marshall is not walking through that door. I don't think he was on that team, to be honest. But answer this question for me. Let's go players 3 through 12. Which roster is better? Bro, this one. Easy. It's just like, Easy. ye of little faith, T. Two games. We're not saying they're going to go on a championship run. We're just going to say they're, they're getting than Minnesota. Than okay. You can get a little faith. Faith. It's all I tell you. I just know my team. I know my... I, I just know... I just know the faith. I don't know this Please. team. They don't they haven't played. <laughs> I, th- I think... That, that's my is, point. Why am I putting faith in the team? I don't even know. Like, all this doesn't make sense. You for years hated your own Wizards and didn't believe <laughs> yeah, in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, bro, like, so what happened? We did all good. But now, I can't see the top 10 players in the league. Is that play like bums? We saw... We saw... We saw Braun quit on playoffs before. Like, a playoff run, a play-in run before. We saw him quit. Against the Suns when it was supposed to happen. Why? Who's to say that Bron doesn't look at here and say like, "What's the point of getting to a temp seed, fighting to even get into the playoffs as a play in?" I and think they're fighting right now. Why like, don't bro, I just shut it down early? Because bro, I think because they would have did it already. Denver. He's not. I think he believes he can beat Denver. Bro, he and I think that's a cute playing. thought that he's having. I, I agree with that notion because I he think Denver's not. really, really if he, good. If he didn't believe, he wouldn't be playing because we've seen that before, team. You know that. And I'm saying we're at that moment where we're about to decide. It's only a couple more games. And if he if he does if. And if, if All he, you got to do is have a few scheduled misses. If he misses. does that, we're going to have a whole different conversation. Bro, what about what I'm saying. If he misses seven games out of that, just here and there, bro. This, is this what, man calculated enough to say, say I'm going to ditch this. We're going to have a whole different conversation about Braun. I've been saying Braun, that, man. though, about Braun for so long. If, in fact, they do what you're talking about and they don't make the playoffs and it just looks like, bro, you were only here to break the record and you're not really here when we're trying to compete – I've been saying that for years in terms of with LeBron. We always, whenever he does something great, we remember it. But there's been multiple years where he's either punted on the year because he knew he couldn't win a chip. Yeah, or he just did not give like... 100%. 100%. And he'll get his and stats on the and back we, half of the game or something it. like that. And it's just like, I'm not going to sit here and just, just dismiss everything I've ever saw over the course of the last three, four years with the Lakers and LeBron James. I don't think and and say we got a though. different... I, Mentality, Man, so now really all of a sudden, like a Bron fan. let's take us all. I do too. Right, not right, 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 really about to do it. All right, it. All right, all right. fifteen and nine. I'm about to cop him with just a little bit of bail. Could it be that Bron may actually want to play basketball? I think he does because right it's been now. two years where he's been playing, playing with the most no miserable ex- set no of basketball he's been playing. Yeah, could be like that. Those that for the two games with D'Lo. Yeah. He looked like he was enjoying himself. He was having fun. 
He looked yeah. like he was enjoying I've seen him I, I he, first time in a long time. Yeah, he, 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 there was he space sprint, to cut. He sprint, he sprint the there was floor. space. If he wasn't, and that's he the point I'm trying to make. He, if he wasn't trying, we'd be able to tell because we've seen it before. And I've seen him like fake trying and punt. I've seen him real trying. I've seen him real trying and punt on her later. And let's say hypothetically, let's say forget all the negativity. Let's say everything in the locker room, all the chemistry. Let's say everything goes well. You know what they still got to do? Go sixteen and eight. And they could go 15 and 9. It, so what I'm saying is all the odds point to them not making it rather than them making it. I, no, all, I respect your I mean, we get, I understand the odds. We understand the odds. What I am saying is. And I'm saying the Lakers ain't been nothing to bet on for the last few years. What I am saying is this should you should feel West better about this anymore, than man. you do. I, I do. Feel, like, I do. I feel like, better than I did bro, before the trade deadline. We sound like the Laker fans. I do. do like like bad, bro. I, I sound like a American. America. It's person. actually the exact opposite. Yeah, I, mean, I, not like I, it's I don't either. It's realistic. I'm a Clipper fan. You know what I sound like? I Look sound at like you. A, you don't I, even say Wizards no I more. I say. Oh, yeah, no. I just sound like a an actual Laker fan. Like I sound like a real I sound like I a Laker fan you sound like who, me, who has dude. witnessed win, who has witnessed winning at the highest level, who has witnessed what an organization is supposed to run and yeah. function like from top to bottom, who has witnessed what a franchise player is supposed to lead Which and do. Like and this is four, not a, a, a shout or disrespect four, to LeBron four, James and all of this. I've just been a Laker fan my entire life and I've seen this. So when y'all ask me to get excited or hopeful for a freaking Tim C play in and like no, tomorrow you're being pessimistic, pessimistic and not a Lakers fan because you're not seeing all the bright spots. We suck still. Tim C to still suck garbage. What are we talking about? What I will say is as all I'm saying is y'all don't Laker suck fan. as bad as saying, Minnesota, New Orleans, bad. and Utah. That's, that's, what, that's all I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm, I'm saying. A, I'm gonna say the same thing I said when the trade deadline happened. I'm excited for the Lakers simply because we have a future going forward. Yes. Yeah. If yes. we us getting the 10 seed this year and then somehow making the 8 seed would give me so much hope for next year, I will be hyped. Just because I honestly believe just after watching this and once again, I'm going to watch every game, Laker game now this season because I did not watch them before. But I will watch every game this season and I will, I honestly want to be able to sit back then this season and go, you know what? We can bring back this exact same roster next year and compete at a high level. And that's all that's I'm saying. All I like, want. Count your I blessings. Think like, too. think no, about it. Before before, before these trades happened, I didn't say no, we were listen, a bad listen. team. Before these trades I happened, I said we were a garbage team in a hole, and now we're trying to get ourselves out in the last third With of the, the year. With the roster y'all picked up, bro, y'all count your blessings, T. Y'all <laughs> thought y'all were gonna have to keep Pat and Russ. <laughs> oh, Facts. y'all got Mo Bamba for free. Facts. They just waved him. Y'all got Mo Bamba for like, bro, count your blessings. Y'all are a better team now. We got Rui for second round pick. You gotta be hurt. Okay. <laughs> like I said, the only right. the only odds, the only odds that I was really banking on in terms of what's realistic, what's really realistic, can New Orleans without Zion and Minnesota, which I'd never believed in. No faith. Yeah. Can they fall out of the the, the that? And that's the better four? question. Do you have more faith in Minnesota than the Lakers right now? No. But so it's, yeah. it's, so what are you talking about? That's do you, all we're do you saying. Have more faith? Do you have more <laughs> faith? I have more faith in Portland than the Lakers. Have more faith in like you OKC. have to realize there's other teams. I just gave you two spots. I gave you two spots. That's Portland and LA right there. Golden State will slide up. OKC, I think, will stick around. Even if they don't, that means Utah gets it. Like, I gave you two spots. Two bro. spots. I do not believe in Minnesota, bro. I do not believe in Minnesota. And teams. I know you don't like Utah. I just don't have any faith in any of these teams. You're asking me somebody between a rock and a hard 10. place. Somebody like, has to get the 10. Yes. Right. If somebody has to get the 10 right now, I'm picking Portland. Wow. Okay. I, I understand. Like, yeah, like, and I, get yeah, I get it. Sure. I respect your opinion. Sure. Because as somebody who, who will bank on the odds most times, I get it. So, and that's not me being a that. hater or anything. That's me being realistic and watching these. Like you said, you weren't watching them. I was watching them. So you might not feel that trauma. <laughs> I didn't want <laughs> like, to. I knew it was going to be trauma. No, that's, but that's what I'm saying. So that? I'm not sitting here and I'm not even saying I'm stuck in a, a mentally place where I can't get out of watching bad Laker basketball. Like, oh, it's going to happen again. Like, nah, I'm not that far off. It's just more so realism. And A, this isn't the basketball I want to see. Like, in, in, in terms of Laker basketball, I want to see just yet. Like we have changes to make in order to compete. So, so yeah, we can even make a play in okay. and not make the playoffs. Like that's why I'm that's saying possible. Tim that's Seed possible. is not an accomplishment. Why are we clapping for a chance to get into we're, the playoffs? We're not, we're not clapping for a ten. I think we're more so like you know, like T. Y'all actually do have the talent to get in, win two games. And I know you said y'all don't. You think y'all could not get a game against Denver at all? But I think y'all could get in this joint at a hot time. I said we get gentlemen's at best against Denver. And I, I see what you mean. You can put that faith in and I mean, all of that. And, 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 and I'm not point, doing it. And the point is, and we can get off this. And the point is, based off the situation we saw for the first two thirds of the season, 
and the hole y'all were in and the garbage the Lakers were playing yeah, it was bad. based off that, right? And then you tell me you you revamped the roster over the trade deadline. We still are supposedly and impossible. have Didn't we impossible. supposedly have LeBron James and Anthony Davis. You revamped them and you come back and you actually make it to the tenth seed and slide into a play in. That's actually Denver, that's, like that's the last thing I actually want to see. You know? That's yeah. commendable. Yeah. I can't hate that. I can't hate that not, based off the circumstances. I you can't hate that. For a team that's that. never made I the said, finals, I don't think that's going to happen. No, and you said like, Denver's right. For a team that's never made the finals, like Denver actually doesn't want to see that. We're I know that, right? Speaking so far past the initial thing, they might not even get the temp seed. <laughs> You're saying they have to get the temp seed, then they have to actually make the playoffs, and then they have to match up with Denver, and they have to win that game. I'm saying there's actually I'm a chance. They that might now. not even get that. I'm, I'm saying there's actually a real chance at that. Now, compared there's a, to chance, when you had there's Pat, a chance in everything, Russ, bro. There's a chance and, and in almost Juan, everything. And Juan Toscano Ooh. Anderson. There's a chance it's in almost everything. Like I'm just not team. taking that bet. Oh, that team was horrible. I'm it's, just not taking that bet. It's a three game. For those who don't know, um, it's a three game split from seven to thirteen. Yeah. Um, you got New Orleans at seven, Minnesota at eight, Golden State at nine, OKC at ten right now, Utah at at eleven, Portland at twelve, and of course the Lakers at thirteen. Um. I will just have to see. We we'll have to see because we're not going. No, it's going to be fun to watch. It's going to be fun to watch. I think. I think it's going to come. I think it's going to be enjoyable. I think it's going to come down to like the last situation. week though. Yeah, but it will. It will. going to be tight. Um, they better not sell it. Barn better not sell it. If you gonna go we're, for, we're it, gonna go have for a it. whole different conversation. If you gonna go for it, go for it. It's gonna be so bad. If it does. It's gonna be so bad. Bro, I'm gonna be sick. So will Lakers make the 10th seed? Y- y'all thought, lose y'all his thought mind. my Russ last week was find out next time. No, because like, nah, I'm 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 gonna throw up. I'm so fed up with them, bro. <laughs> All right. We about done, y'all. We got to be about done. Anything else y'all want to add in terms of uh, playoff conversations? I mean, yeah, man. Any I mean, East conversations y'all want to have? I mean, yeah. Like, honestly, if you open for it, I mean, until we done, let's just yeah, talk about the playoffs. It's been a minute since we all been here. So. Been if I miss this, man. It's been yeah, a minute. I, really I do. miss y'all too, man. Yeah. We miss y'all too. All right, so act like y'all can't take a drive once a month. Y'all yeah, stop playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. So I'll be fake busy. We're not gonna talk about. I'll be that. fake busy. <laughs> Manny lives down the street. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Bad. He's I'm been in, getting I'm a pad. He's been, been getting a pad. You down the I'm street? In, yeah. That's nasty behavior. <laughs> In fact, you can just walk around the corner. But actually, no, man. Manny's been on other pods. Wow. I actually seen him on other yeah. pods. Shout out to AJ. Wow. I've seen him on yeah, other pods. Shout out pod. to AJ Pod. I ain't going to hate. I ain't going to hate. Where you going? Where you going? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, the Eastern <laughs> Conference. <laughs> the Eastern Conference looks like Boston at one, Milwaukee at two. Philly at three, Cleveland at four, Brooklyn at five. We know how that's going to go. Shout out Mikael Bridges. Um, shout out to him. He got, he got that 45, man. Shout out to him. New York at six, Miami at seven, Atlanta at eight, Washington at nine, and Toronto at 10. Um, the close ones on the way out, well, Chicago, Indiana at 11 and 12. Yeah. Looking at the Eastern Conference, we only consider two legitimate contenders here. Yeah, two. Two and a half. For for a championship? Are y'all it's two. two oh, that's my question. Are we that's are we a, really yeah, I don't care about a Western Com- I mean Eastern Conference. Yeah. So what, what yeah. Two and a half. Are you really are you really a putting half Philly is not a contender? If you're a half a contender, that means you're missing half. So that means hey, you're not look, a contender. Somebody got amnesia. You got right. Doc so, Rivers, James Harden, Montrezl Harrell. Harrell. Now, I've, I've said <laughs> on, I've said on, on air, I do not trust Embiid, Harden, or Doc. But you have to at least give them a punch. Like we can't look at. Do we have to? I don't have to. That's, that's a good question. That's a good. <laughs> I didn't even. Do we have to give you a shot for a tip? Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't gotta do nothing. Say like it's the no. softest six game series. This I mean, honestly. Well, who? And Philly this is versus who? Philly versus fan? both of them. This is coming from a Houston fan who's had hard for years. Boston and Milwaukee. I'm not taking neither one of them. I don't have faith in any of the three. Milwaukee, especially in the combination of the three. It's just, if Chris but it's just yeah. like... It's, it's screaming like, fold. It's just screaming or go. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's screaming a game seven, one for 12 from three for Harden, and beat ends up with seven turnovers, and Doc Rivers just sitting there flabbergasted. Like, it just screams. <laughs> you know that face, that Doc Rivers Exactly, face, that it's the Doc Rivers face. He don't know what's going on. Like, he don't know what to do. He doesn't realize he should probably just make one small adjustment, maybe not play the whole five bench man lineup, you know, mm. that thing. <laughs> um, I don't know. But I was just saying, like, there's no way you can look at that Philly and just be like, no. Yeah, like, they yeah. got to have a I, punch I, I can't. I don't know, least. man. I can't. Do they have know. a punch of chance? Yeah, but that doesn't make you a contender. Like, 
Hypothetically Fair. speaking, that's Fair. why you have a playoff system. Is that everybody in there has a puncher's chance? So they have no chance. So they have no chance of beating Milwaukee or Boston. Mm, or I, I honestly think they do. They gotta, but I don't think they have a chance like to win healthy, the finals. A healthy, a healthy Milwaukee in yeah. Boston. A healthy Milwaukee, no. Yeah. They're okay. not seeing it. I, I, I can't argue it because I'm probably on the same page. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just throw I think it everybody out on this couch bets against Philly. And Absolutely. That, yeah. I'll yeah. just throw it out. We just commend you that you still have faith. I don't have faith. What are we talking about? Uh, uh, okay. Brian just giving out hypothetical. Yeah, he's just, yeah. Brian just throwing it out there. Hey, he having, was just wondering how y'all felt. Like, I just threw the name half. out. Yeah, that's yeah. why I said half. Nah, he's, like, yeah. Yeah. Half. he's getting some semantics straight. Nah, it's that's not even two, nope. like, only, I'm not, only two teams. Yeah, like I, I can only, we can only take two teams seriously. And while I do like, I I have to show some love. We have to show some love to some of the guys that have kind of like snuck up and really just. I think they're better. Than what I expected to be, even though they are in the spot I expected them to be in. The Cleveland Cavaliers are really, oh, really good. I was um, telling, I, I knew they would be a four or five seed. Yeah, that's what we all had them, right? But somewhere in there. I knew it'd be I'll, like I'll a four or five seed. I thought four, yeah. But in terms of how threatening they could be, don't let them upset somebody in the semis. I told like, someone I could I was see like, them. I could see them putting a little scare. I said they're the Pelicans of the East right now. Well, when the Pelicans were healthy, yeah. when they were healthy, yeah. Right now they're the four, so they would be playing Boston in the second. If they were to sneak in. It's because they can catch Boston, maybe not healthy. I don't think they beat Milwaukee in any shape or form. But if they catch Boston in some shape or form, lacking, I think I think it's I have like reverse for me. Like if Milwaukee's unhealthy, I could see them causing Milwaukee fair, a little bit headache because you know, their front court's big. They front court wall up on them. Yeah. They don't have issues when they play them. Have so, you seen the matchup? And up? then and then the guard play is strong. So like between yeah, between yeah. Mitch and Garland. Garland, like they could. And it's not like any kind of tweener thing. It's like, no, our bigs are bigs. Yeah. And our guards are guards. So it's, while our differences in size, you have a 6'3", 2 guard in Donovan Mitchell. I got footer. Mm -hmm. And then I got Evan Mobley who's, yeah. And then I got Mobley who's going to switch and can play nearly one through five in terms of uh, defending. The more I think about it, Boston's more of a scary (laughs) team for them than um, Milwaukee. Say that again. The more I think about it, Boston. Oh, I said Boston. Boston's a scarier team for them to match the up against than, than yeah. Milwaukee. Honestly, I could see that because their front court is so crazy; they can just wall up on um on Giannis. Yeah, but in terms of like Jalen Brown and like Jason Tatum on the wings, just like, like taking said, them apart. If Chris Middleton ain't healthy, then it's gonna be a real issue I mean, for the Bucks in the playoffs, regardless. To me, I mean, the only real weakness of that Cavs team they just don't have a legit wing. They just don't have a legit one. Like I thought, honestly thought they should have made such a much harder push for either Mikael or Cam Johnson from. Brooklyn. They're, but they're almost out of. They're pretty much out of draft picks though. Man, yeah, you got, but, whatever, whatever's I don't necessary. Think you can really package. Yeah, up. first of all, if you're Not gonna call me about Mikael, I'm gonna call you about. Like, you're gonna have I, to give me. Evans. Honestly, I would have called for Cam Johnson. That would have been my. Move. I was about to say, yeah, you might be able to. Swing like, give me a give me that. a guy who's a certified sniper, gives me floor spacing, and can at least guard his position. He's not an elite defender by any stretch, but he can guard his position. So one of the things that I've heard. Um, and I guess that wing spot where the guy that needs to elevate would be Karis. Yeah. Um, they've been having conversations with him. I don't know. They've talked about the relationship to Brooklyn. Kind of, they've I've heard of like something like maybe in the summertime they do that potential Karis for camp swap. So that, that wouldn't be horrible. So I think I think that they Brooklyn really behind back everything. You said what? <laughs> Brooklyn really they, trying to hit the reset gonna, button. Yeah, no? Like we really missed y'all. Like y'all was no, like low maintenance. Can, can we talk about the fact that Brooklyn essentially just went back to what they yeah, were they before are, KD yeah, and Kyrie? Yeah, like that's essentially what they did. Legit. They just said, you know what? We're just gonna go back and get a bunch of good guys. Spencer. Yeah, a bunch of good dudes. I just no headaches. Th- no headaches. Just play ball, have fun, good vibes. No, I'm not mad at it. I'm not I mad. Am. I want some competitiveness. If they're the next three, they four years, they don't try to. They made the playoffs when they had D'Lo. Yeah, they were six. No, I'm talking about like building upon. Like I want. But, and I'm going uh, like, to be watching this and analyze like, how the Nets are going to be building like, the next two, three years. But if it gets back to just being mediocre, then like I'm not going to pat them on the back for getting back to what they had before. I mean, they, like, they were building before, but you don't have none of that anymore. You are just you just was able to give away great pieces to get this back. What are you going to do with it? I think they, really but I do think they have certain they have some certain pieces in place that makes you go, all right, we can actually work with this. A, de- a, a really good head coach. A really good head yeah, coach. Really I like Josh Vaughn. Coach. Yeah. They got Cam. They got Mikael yeah. Bridges. They got Mikael Bridges, Bridges is going to be a focal point. And, and then Spencer Dewey is going to be here, and, but I don't know what's really going to happen with him in the near future. If they're hitting a full reset, I move Spence. And so because and that's of the sad part, he always produces, but we feel yeah, like we have to need to shift in. Like yeah. everywhere he goes, he impacts winning. There, there's there's some people that are just like that. Yeah. You're just going to be a really great tradable piece. <laughs> it sounds it disgusting. Sounds wild, but it sounds real disgusting. But Rudy Gay never made an All Star. Love Rudy Gay. How many teams he been on? 
Yeah. I think Brooklyn in their own way, if they do it right, they could still be they could compete if not be better than the Knicks. And the Knicks are a six seed right now. Yeah. And I'm talking I think Brooklyn is low-key gonna be that surprise team for me the second half because like no nobody has any crazy egos. Everybody's gonna listen to Jock Vaughn. And hard. right now they're the best defensive team probably in the Eastern Conference right now. Yeah. You, That's we, a conversation. With the, Cle- not, Cle- Cleveland's right up there. What Cleveland's up there, but I'm saying like in terms of like Nick Claxton, Mikael Bridges, Cam Johnson, Dorian Finney-Smith, Royce O'Neal, whenever they do want to put in Ben Simmons. <laughs> like, but that's, that's what they feel like. Whenever, I mean, right whenever now, he wants to play. Whenever you want to play your highest paid player. Yeah, bro. Whenever you want to play your saying? highest paid player. Whenever like, the highest paid player wants to play. I mean, let's stop it. That's you to watch Anambe be coming in that joint is able He's to go like him. four through one. Like, I think, and like I said, you got four defenders in there and then Spence and it's like, bro, Spencer, Cam, y'all going to be the bucket getters every single time. You mean Mikael? Yeah, now that like, <laughs> but like between those two in terms of like, I think even Mikel, even though he had that 45, I don't think he's going to really try to OD, like put me on ball. I'm going to still get my buckets the right way. I think their team is just going to mesh and no one's, it's going to be just like how we talked about like beforehand. Yeah. I, once again, I can see that. Like, I can see them. I like the pieces they put together. They, yeah. You could definitely tell they wanted to remain somewhat competitive through yeah. this. And quick side we'll talk. see what happens. I forgot Ben Simmons was still there. Yeah, we all that taking is up money so bad. <laughs> taking up a max contract. Is what it is. The max contract was forgotten. I we're not gonna do this about today. It. I thought we're not gonna did. do this. <laughs> is what it is, man. He's a bum. They, I, they talked about I said already. it a while ago. That's I said wild, he was done yeah. a while ago. Yeah, it's, it's like that's so max wild. like forty m's a year, right? I mean, look, I think it's at least like. Yeah, it's it's something, something like that. I'm it's something like that, man. What's his contract? Uh, it's not injury. He's sitting out. It's like fit, right? Bro, I said it then. He's I'm not sitting right now. 35, 35 Bro, year. I said it then. I said it now. He's been robbing the league, on like something I've never seen before. Bro, I said since Who's Chandler Robbie? Parsons, bro. Since like Chandler he's robbing Parsons. leagues. Final on year, I've never 40. seen before. <laughs> like let's let's think about that. All right, let's. I, I want to. one of your topics. Can we can we go through this timeline though? All right, we can go through the timeline. <laughs> let's let's be. I have to be. I have to be fair. He earned his money. He, he earned that contract. That contract when it came time. For he earned it. it. Thirty five. When he it came, it. that time, was the contract he was all extension. De- he was an all defensive player. He, he earned looked the contract. Like, he looked Same like he wanted why to play. Minnesota's trap now. Let's just give max dudes that play defense. No, nah, pause, pause, that's, pause, that's pause. Ben doing. Simmons at his height was better than Rudy Gobert, in my opinion, in terms of potential and per terms of what we saw. Yes, we we talked yes. about he got that contract yes. in what his fourth year in the league or something like that. So when basically, the extension you came him up. bread on something he didn't do yet. What do you mean he was the number one pick in the draft? Why am I defending this guy? He's the number one pick <laughs> in the draft, and you're just saying you're not gonna give him the max Ricky extension Philly, when he so hit all the accolades you need to. give Get the Max Ricky extension? Yeah. I I I understand. I don't understand what kind of business you running, Manny. <laughs> like, I would still be in business because I'm not signing him. He's no, you're not signing him because you're looking at hindsight. You're looking at hindsight. He's a three time all star. Speaking out of hindsight. He was a three time all star, defensive player of the year candidate, averaging 16, 18. He's Draymond in a LeBron suit. We all talked about this. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm simply saying. Why does he get so much love? You can say you're he not well, getting before, before before the non shot. He got a lot of love because he deserved it. Ah, yes, he deserved he love. He deserved the love. Maybe he, he, I think he was still overrated at that time. He was always overrated. Like, but what I'm trying to say, the year was even his. That was supposed to be Donovan's. We all know this. But hey, man, you're gonna pay that man. Look, you all gotta I'm pay saying, him all I'm saying is that's a 6'10", 250 playmaker at the time who was comfortable at least driving to the rack and getting a layup and first he was a years, defensive monster first two monster three years, i'll give you that and you put him alongside your seven footer that's what you paid him for you put him alongside your seven footer but in mb but let's also talk about after you flopped the playoff series right fast forward now after You're you fast too fast. Wait, he's getting, that's not wrong. He's got paid already. Was, four or five. was that year four or five when he did that? That later? That was, that was four, no shot. Four. That was that, five. year five, but year four playing for him. Yeah, that's so. That wasn't that wasn't that long. Four. All right, that was that was after the first two years. Yes. Fast forward one more year. You missed a layup. You don't Didn't play for a whole layup. year. Ah, my, mental health. Now it's time to play. But they paid him before. That. I was saying he got paid already. already. already how how many years was that? For how many? Bro, years? he got paid like before the shot. The before the non shot, he was on that contract. So he was already on that bank. One next for four or five years. Why don't we just give him a one year extension? Be like, yeah, I mean, you that's why would you give him a one year extension? He doesn't sign the contract. Yeah. Why would you give your rookie? Take all the money. Take all the money. His agent would have looked at them and threw it in their face. Yeah, that Max as a rookie. Do you sign the contract? Can like, you imagine going like, to Rich Paul with that? Do you say, oh, oh I'm Ben no. Simmons, I'm a bum? 
No, I'm not, no. So what you're going to do? The most. You're going to end up being a what, a restricted free agent or something like that. Fact. You're going to wait. Somebody else is going to offer him that super duper max or whatever it's going to be. And what you're going to do all as I'm a franchise, is, you're going to pay him still or you're going to let all him All I'm walk. saying is, my last question, we can get off this Ben topic. I'm sorry, because this wasn't even, I know it wasn't even on the docket. <laughs> <laughs> right. What do y'all, what do y'all have done that? Would yes, at that time, would yes. I, and would I would have put that down. I would have did it, I and I would have never it I would have seen what it was. What, I would have done it with the intention of trading him. him. Yeah, I would have traded him. I would have done it with the intention of trading I would have moved him, because I thought, I, thank you. We I had a conversation. You did it with him. You said Zion was better than him as soon as Zion came in the league. I said it before even Zion played. I was like, he's actually aggressive. He's trying to actually get a cup. He's actually trying to be a playmaker. Ben just wants to look like a playmaker. No, That's the I see difference. What you, I see what you mean. I understand. But at I, that moment, if LeBron I'm DM, my hands are tied. Can we stop disrespecting Draymond like that? Draymond got heart. <laughs> Jeez. He said, what I said. he said it. He said, I said it. Draymond said. does have heart. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he does have heart. Nah, it was just the, the insinuation off of that. No, nah, it was so quiet when he said it. Like it just, it just, it just rang. Did out. I say something that was untrue? No, no, no it was just a fact. We call it a fact. Call it a damn thing. And you said know. it. It was just like it just hit harder. That's all. No, I did. You know when the beat drops <laughs> and the hey, rapper keeps rapping, and that's when you that's when you say the biggest part. But um, man. But yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I, we got to cut that check, man. There's no way around that. Yeah. No I wouldn't have paid him. That's all I'm saying. You got to cut Unless that I was on Beecham's time, I'm signing him on the tent to trade him right away. I see what it was. He wasn't doing, bro, he wasn't going to yeah, impact my team. But like, so not any type of winning. And I'm letting that. him walk. You're not letting walk him walk. for free is nuts. No, no, not walk for free. You just sign. You, you do, have you to do, sign him no, I mean, you're going to sign him. And so that means you're going to pay him that contract because he's not signing a damn thing unless it's that contract. Think about this. Think about this. All I'm saying is he's jumping the Shout out to CBA. Shout out Player Association. Shout out to TK, think about this. A mental health laden or, or struggling. The year, G. Ben Simmons got Philly. I got James mental Harden. health now. I don't want to show it to work. Think, no, My think boss about it. Hear that. Think about it. Think of, <laughs> think of how, why you cut this guy a check, though. Think about it. Ben Simmons didn't take the shot. Yep. He sat out for a year. Yep. They paid him before that, all of that. They paid him for all that, right. Yeah. He sat out a year. Yep. They put him on the market mm. and they flipped him for James, for James Harden. Harden. I mean, that's why you cut him a check. That's why you cut him a check. That's why you cut him a check. Mission accomplished. What, 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 what Brian has suggested initially, it, it happened. It took it a couple years. Happened. Yeah, it happened. But like, it lands you up a Hall of Flame player like James Harden. Now, we could talk about him, his winning and his like whatever. And it is, he's more productive than I'm going to say James Harden is a, a big step up from Ben yeah, Simmons. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like, I can't really blame him. But at that time, that's why you sign him because you get to do something eventually with him. Yeah. So who am I mad at? That's what I'm trying to figure you're out. You're mad at Ben Simmons. You're mad at Ben Simmons. You're mad at Ben Simmons. Because he's not worth the 35 mils that, you, that he's you're already mad, paid. You're mad so that Ben Simmons is not living up to you're what? You're mad that, that, you're mad that the Draymond in the LeBron suit did not become Lamar Odom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Shout, we're moving on. Yeah. The shout out. Yeah. Brian is yeah. cooking. Yeah. I've much. never agreed with Brian so much. Pretty much. Hey, man. Hey, this comes a long way. From from uh, Larry Larry Bird, Draymond, uh, Ben Simmons yeah. comparison. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, no, 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 that's not the, no, that's not the one. That's not way. the one. The one is when he he brought up. Um, <laughs> move on. Who's the big? Who's the big? Move on. Move on. Oh, move on. Move on. Move on. <laughs> the biggest bust about Kwame Brown. Oh, yeah. Shaq, Kwame he's like Shaq and the Kwame numbers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said I was wrong. That this is what right, happens when you let the pod go past the docket. Move on. Move on. Oh my God. All right, y'all. Let's get out of here, man. <laughs> shout out, shout outs. Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame Facts. have announced their twelve finalists mm-hmm. for class of twenty twenty three. Name the Lakers, and the list is as follows: Gene Bess, all time winningest college coach at thirteen hundred wins. Paul Gasol, six time All Star, two time NBA NBA champion, two thousand two Rookie of the Year. David Hickson, eight hundred twenty six, two time D three National Champion and two time D three coach. Gene Keedy, seven time Big Ten Coach of the Year. Dirk, fourteen time All Star, two thousand six uh, MVP. 2011 NBA champion. Mm. Um, very deserving of that. Facts. Tony Parker, six time oh, All Life. <laughs> six time All Star, four time <laughs> NBA champion, 2007 Finals MVP. Greg Popovich, winning his coach in NBA <laughs> Tony history. Parker, wow. Don't blame Five time <laughs> NBA champion. Dwayne Wade, 13 time All Star, three time NBA, NBA MB, um, champion, 2006 Finals MVP. And then women's committee finalist, um, Jennifer Aziz, 1990s. Uh, Naismith Player of the Year, 1990 National Champion. Gary Blair, 
852 wins, 2011 NBA champion Becky Hammond, six-time WNBA All-Star, and now she's a coach for, I think, the Aces, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And Marion Washington, 560 wins, 11 NCAA appearances. Mm -hmm. We got some good names in there, man. Some great names names. in there. Great names. names. I love it. How y'all feel about it? I mean, I, it's really hard to disrespect any kind of Hall of Fame list because we're talking about people who had done yeah. so much in a sport that they can't even be. We're considered. talking about the one percent. Yeah, right. like if you're if you're hating on a Hall of Fame list, it's you just always, a hater to be maybe a hater. not this time, but maybe next time is the best thing you can say. Yeah. And I'm not the person voting, so <laughs> and more times than not, we're mad at who doesn't make it in compared to who, who actually, actually got, got in. in. Right. Like I don't if, see any undeserving names on this list, so I can. There is one name that I have had to defend quite a bit. Two TP. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I figured that would be the I one. I've had to defend. Oh, I've, I've, I've had to defend. But the international Tony basketball so aspect of that is, and that's what I was telling people: European or like, if you come over here in the NBA and you do a couple years as an All Star and you are European, you're Hall of Fame. Like y'all, y'all Ming didn't do a whole lot of accomplishing in the NBA. No disrespect to him, Hall of Fame. Like it's it because the of what you brought do, over too, though. and it's the connection of what you did overseas. Like we have to remember, like this is like the Nation of Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, but it's, it's not, not the, the NBA United Ho- States. Yeah, it's not the NBA, NBA Hall of Fame. Basketball Hall of Fame. I don't think we just realized that because you, so you named T- a D three coach, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So what what TP did with all of France? Yeah, I like you can't just discredit that. Sense. And yes, that makes him a Hall of Famer. Yeah, I, I've I've been having to defend TP for a long, long time. I've been calling him a Hall of Fame point guard. And people at the barbershop have been giving me all types of hell for it. So, uh, no, facts. My, my new Hall of Famer. Facts. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't know yeah. what else. Yeah. 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 Whenever I talk about the Spurs and that, and that run they went on, I'm like, they, they were the four Hall of Famer roster right no, there. Facts. You had Timmy, you had Powell, excuse me, not Powell. You had Timmy, you had Tony, you had uh, Manu, and you had Pop as the coach. Like, that was a mob. I thought you, had well, I thought you were going to say, when you said four Hall of Famers, I thought you were going to say Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the... Oh, that, that was before the run, though. Gotcha. I mean, after the run. After the run. Because that old... He's talking like, mid-legendary Spurs 2000s run. Because Kawhi was the yeah. remember? It was at the end of the run when they were all together. Kind of so after they were already established. <laughs> hey. I mean... <laughs> he still has more basketball five, to play. Five, five, five is way better than four, right? Kawhi's a Hall of Famer now. Like that's all that matters. He's a Hall of Famer now. I, th- Hall of Famer I think now. before Thoughts. Kawhi showed up, I think they were 4 0 as a unit. In the finals? Nah, they in the were 4 f- and nah, 5. They lost it to the Pistons. He lost once. They were 4 and 5. Or 4 and 1. 4 and 1? Yeah. Lost once. They lost to Detroit. No, no, no. Nah, they didn't lose to Detroit. They only, they, I thought that was that LA that was No, before, they beat right? the, yeah. yeah, they beat LA. The old LA mob. You remember? They had old Gary Payton. Yeah, I'm about to say uh, that. Yeah. I think, I think Timmy was I think, I think I think Tim Duncan is no, five and one. They lost to Miami. I'm tweaking. They lost to Miami. They lost to Miami. Yeah. That, 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 that was with Kawhi. Before, yeah. before yeah. Kawhi showed up. They were yeah, before, Kawhi, Tim Duncan was four and oh four. Before Kawhi, they were four and oh in the finals. Yeah, facts. Like they had never lost in the finals. Like Tim's that dude, dog. Nah, he is. No, Tim is underrated. He should have been five and oh. And we're gonna keep it a beam. Let's, let's keep it honest. Yeah, let's rebound the ball. It. Rebound. Rebound, yeah. rebound, rebound. Shout yeah. out to Jesus Shuttlesworth. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Shout out to that ref with his eyes closed. That's who. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, y'all. Um, y'all got anything else to add? Any other shout outs you wanna add? Y'all know I'm a shout out. Shout out to you. I'm saying Lawrence Frank, head of basketball <laughs> operations with LA, put a damn good team together. But not getting Russell Westbrook. <laughs> yeah, shout out to him for that too. <laughs> Clippers this year are going to show that the don't say term it. Don't point say guard, it. the term uh, point guard though is dead. Based on our roster and based on the success we're going to have, we're going to show you don't need a point guard. And, and let me guess, they're I'm not so a super sick. team. They're a super team. Oh my gosh! Why do you keep setting them up like this? <laughs> Yo, he's he is worse than than oh. than Cowboys fans when it comes to the Clippers. <laughs> yeah, bro. Really like, really every time, bro. Really I can't I, wait for Bones Island to throw the ball out of bounds in the playoffs. Oh, no, we're not going to play him late. When, I already know. When it comes late to the playoffs, bro, he's not playing. Oh, no, man. Shout out to Bones, man. I, shout out to Bones. I think, I, I, I'm he's glad got he, a talent, he's got a talented future in front of him. Yeah, I'm oh, glad man. he yeah. got to another situation. The, the situation in Denver kind of went sour fast Quick. just because, like you said, shot selection and turnovers, uh, Mike Malone just couldn't handle. Um, he just couldn't handle it. But he's in L.A. I think he can work there. I think he could fit there. And he also can be a part of their future there, too. So. For sure. Um, but yeah, man, the Clippers. We're not gonna do this today. We're not gonna do this. We're gonna today. do it off camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Anybody else? Anybody else? Shout outs. No. You got a hater of the week? Nah, ain't nobody been hating because it's been it's, like a low key break. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. Been so everybody been low key congratulating and things. Who who's been hating? Wally Zerbiet. He's still hating. 
We didn't hate on. We didn't hate on. We didn't tell him. We didn't tell him. We didn't call. We didn't make him hater of the week. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now facts. Yep, definitely hater of the week. You said Halliburton was gonna be an all star. Look where he at now. That's crazy. You called it. Literally said nope. Not like he's an all star, fake wannabe all star, or something like that. You look silly. This is what happens. That's what we don't hate. Last week I was hater of the week. I was just letting it go. But (laughs) (laughs) yeah, this week, yeah, that's definitely redemption. Not in the Hall of Fame. That's that's strictly Skip Bayless. But yeah, Wally Zerbiak, definitely hater of the week because Tyrese got the the stunt on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm facts. Anything else? We good? They should have made him try to call the All Star game or something. They should have. That this should have been his punishment. That would have been like comedy. he had to report on that joint. He needs or, or he, he had needs to, to like announce him. He has to announce oh, yeah, Tyrese like as an All Star. Something like great. that, bro. You gonna give me my flowers? Yeah, shout out, shout my pastor. It was a good service this Sunday. Shout out my pastor. Amen. <laughs> shout out my hair braider. Shout out my barber. <laughs> and then um, shout out to y'all, man. Like I say, y'all doing the big. What episode is this now? Uh, One hundred six. Yeah. I can't fall, man. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna hold a different couch. Hey <laughs> yeah. man, if you around the corner, pull up. That's all I'm gonna say. If you really around the corner, pull up. Don't do yeah, that no more. I won't be a stranger. I'll pull up. All right, y'all. That's it for this one. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. As always, East Sleep Breathe Game. Be safe. We out. Thank you. Man, no, I'm just realistic. I'm just really realistic. He said, 10 C. He said, no! Bro, it's they're. Too trash for it. It's too trash for it. My biggest thing is like. like God.